Hi everybody, I hope that you're all well. This week, the week of May 11th, you're going to be exploring two poems. And each of these poems is what's known as a metaphor poem. And what that means is that each poem consists of a metaphor that's carried throughout the poem. It's an extended metaphor. And so um, a metaphor is a comparison between two things that does not use like or as. So you're directly comparing two objects but you're not saying it's like this object, you're saying it is this object. So the first poem that you're going to read this week is a poem called Identity by Julio Naboa Polanco. And this poem, I think in order to really understand it, you have to know what conformity means. Um, if you think about conforming, when a person conforms, it means that they kind of adjust their own beliefs and thoughts and actions um, in order to go with the flow and to um, be like everybody else. So you're con if you're a conformist, you're somebody that kind of goes along with what other people are doing. Um, you go along with what other people believe. You don't like to make waves. You, it's really the opposite of being an individual. Um, if you think about To Kill a Mockingbird, Atticus was anything but a conformist. If he was somebody who had gone along with the feelings about Tom Robinson and said, I'm not taking this case, I'm going with everybody else's beliefs about Tom, then he would have been a conformist. But Atticus is not, he's an individual. He's somebody who stands up for what he believes in and he's independent. He's an independent thinker. And that's something that is a very difficult thing to do. And as we talked at length about with To Kill a Mockingbird, I really feel that that book was so relevant because it addresses the issue that is important to, in so many circumstances in our world where you see something and you have to figure out, are you going to go with what everybody else is thinking because it's the more popular thought at the moment? Or are you going to be an individual and stand up and say, what you personally feel. And so this poem called Identity is about that. And the author uses metaphors. He compares himself, he uses really the, the a garden as his metaphor. He compares himself to an object uh, in the garden and he compares other people who conform to a different object in the garden. And that's what I really want you to focus on as you explore this poem. What is the narrator comparing